Students, let's take a look at Patriot's history of the United States. Starts off talking about Thomas Paine and how he was a failure at a few things. And then it says he's, he had fire in his blood and defiance in his pen. So the author of Patriot's History of the United States is kind of cheering on Thomas Paine with his uh, 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 urging of independence. And in the second paragraph, the author of this book says, Paine tapped into widespread public sentiment, essentially saying that Paine was not on the fringes of society when he was urging for independence. He was in the mainstream. Most people in America, according to Patriots History of the United States, were eager for independence. Then if you skip, uh, skip the next two paragraphs, which I want you to read, but if you go down to the next two par uh, paragraph where it says, at, at the end, we're uh, talking about the drafting of the Declaration, and it said, Thomas Jefferson, to whom the privilege of writing the final draft fell, Jefferson wrote so eloquently and succinctly that Adams and Franklin made only a few alterations, including Franklin's self-evident phrase, most of the changes had to do with adding references to God. Interesting, especially considering People's History of the United States by Howard Zinn. We'll look at that in another video. So, But keep in mind, Patriot's History of the United States says most of the changes had to do with adding references to God. I don't even know if I agree with that, but that's the book. That's what it says. Even so, the final document remains a testament to the skill of Jefferson in capturing the essence of American ideals. So the author of this book is saying Jefferson did a great job in the document capturing the American ideals, which is interesting. And then he goes on uh, to, to explain, you know, the ideas that we talked about, the Enlightenment ideas of natural rights and social contract. Um, and then... He, he says, uh, skip another two paragraphs, and it says, In short, the Declaration clearly illustrated the dual strains of Western thought that had emerged as predominant by the 1700s, a continuing reverence for the premacy of God in human affairs, and yet an increasing attraction to the notion that earthly systems depended on human intellect and action. So, okay, so that's interesting. And then the next paragraph starts with eh, just just a little bit of a uh, little bit of criticism of slavery but not that big of a deal and then they sign this thing and they're brave men because signing this made them traitors and it it points out the author of this book patriot history of the united states points out this last sentence, by the end of the war, almost everyone had lost his property. Many had lost wives and families to British guns or prisons, and several died penniless, having given all in the revolution. It's called, the book is called A Patriot's History of the United States, so that gives us a clue right there. The guy writing this book likes the United States, generally is going to respect the founding of the United States, and that's what we find here. We find a reverence, and if not a, a reverence, at least a level of respect for these men who wrote this document. We don't see any real criticism of these guys. We just see a, a detailing of what they did. Essentially, what they did was in line with public opinion, public sentiment, and they made a few changes, but they were minor, a minor reference to slavery, according to this book. But really, um, these men were brave. They gave, they sacrificed everything to make this document happen. That's according to the Patriots' history of the United States.